pandas, 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 pandas. Welcome to the string pandas. I'm Baba Amun. I'm glad that you can join us. You can spend your day doing anything you want. Yet you find yourself here, and for that, I am truly, truly, truly appreciative. I'm glad that you guys can join us. Hey guys, if you're just joining the stream, make sure you give me a good morning and location, and also. Uh, make sure you fill out that poll. Let me know what kind of day you think today might be. Very interesting here. It's been a while since we didn't make an all-time high, so I'm just looking at that right now. We haven't made an all-time high yet. This looks like it's about to reverse... But on the 10K chart, it's just a two-legged pullback, A, B, C. Pretty far away from the 20 MA, and then finally it's coming back down to test it. I mean, you're going to need a pretty nice signal bar if you want to enter this two-legged pullback. Five minute. Everybody knows I have my eye on this one. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Let me say good morning to my pandas here. Bill Jesso, good morning. Haskell Sailor, welcome back. Good morning. From Florida. A lot of, lot of uh, pandas in Florida, huh? Peter Cho, good morning from New York. Welcome, welcome. Yochi Folly, good morning. Welcome back. Adam Thao from Minnesota. Good morning, good morning. Yochi from Houston, Texas. Let's go, baby. Dude, you can't say baby, let's go. What is that? You guys said, let's go, baby. And Bond, also from Minnesota. We've got two people from Minnesota here. Good morning. Maybe uh, you and um, Adam can uh, meet up someday and Bond it. Good morning. Phil Jessa from Canada. Phil W from Toronto. I love my Canadians. I'm trying to remember what this line was. Oh well. Always adjust these lines. Good morning, good morning. Brandon Jones from Florida, Phil W. Noah Hanif, welcome back. Fernando Garcia, good morning, good morning. You guys, make sure you guys fill up that poll. Also, make sure you scalp that like button. Ooh, something interesting just happened here. 10K chart, just obliterating the 20 MA. Super strong, bear bar. You're thinking follow through. I would not be taking this. You're thinking potential trap here. I mean, you have this setup here, right? Break up trend, new high, and then potential trap trade here. That could be what's setting up here. Very interesting. Oh, okay, you know what? I do remember what that was. <clears throat> it was this measure move. It was this measure move from this breakout right here. And that's why I placed this line right here. And we end up hitting it in the overnight session. Um, but that's <laughs> that's pretty scary if you enter that head and shoulders. But ends up hitting it anyways. <clears throat> welcome pandas to the stream. Kimball Hasbo, welcome, welcome. You guys, as you guys are rolling in, I'm gonna be going over a daily chart review. Some of the trades that I took off stream, or some of the setups that I think happened off stream, I'm gonna go over them right now. So up to the stream, where did we get to? It's about around here we ended. And I started seeing this uh, forming here and I did not take basically any of these two-legged like, pullbacks. I had a certain uh, setup in mind. I did mention, um, right here, this, 
uh, this trap here on the 10k chart. That was a nice trap that I was able to scalp. And uh, unfortunately, the runner didn't get anything. Uh, I wanted a, a nice, like, I thought we we're going to at least get to that measure move of that um, the head and shoulders pattern. But the trading range indicator started to indicate that we started getting into a range. And so my runner actually just got stopped out. I wanted a little bit more. It was like four point runner, but I wanted a little bit more. That's actually, it was actually a double runner too. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're on four point runner. So it actually was $400. And I was actually really contemplating just taking it, but I wanted to stick to my guns and uh, was hoping for just another swing. But after seeing all these multiple hits and failed breakouts to this trading range, I should have just, I should have just skunked it, I think. Cause just because we couldn't push. We had no follow through, right? Strong bull bar, no follow through. And that should have been maybe some signs that how I should have managed that runner a little bit better. I, was, I think I was getting a little spoiled because uh, the day before I got this, you know, 20 point runner and I was thinking, okay, maybe we can get another one of those. But uh, yesterday was pretty much a trading range day today. So, or yesterday, so. But that was my trade. Off stream that I took. Um, let me see here. This is the 2K chart. So breaking out and going into this consolidation. Uh, you could have maybe taken this trap here. I'm trying to think if that's a good trap. Break a trap. Okay, you know the main reason why I didn't take this trap? I mean, it ends up only taking a perfect scalp. And so it actually would trap you out, uh, most likely. But uh, the main reason why is because we didn't make a new high. We made a equal high, but no new high, right? Break of trend, no new high. So we had a break of trend here, right? Break a trend, no new high, right? Equals, and you're looking for that new high. And in fact, it doesn't make a new high still, and then finally reverses after this, this triple top. And uh, just hard to tell because, you know, we didn't make that new high, but if we made a new high, then perhaps that would have been a good trap to take. And then finally, strong push down. You're linking another push down. With a big push down like this, you're thinking at least one more leg down. And so, <clears throat> You have a two-legged pullback. Terrible signal bar here, but good signal bar here. So you would skip this trade, and this is why you don't take, you know, bad signal bars, because this is the signal bar right here. Let me zoom in for you guys. Strong push down, two-legged pullback, back to the 20MA. And you see this really bad signal bar, and it triggers right here, as you can see. But this is the better signal bar, actually. And so this is a very good setup. And that's actually a setup that I took as well. So that is good for a scalp, nothing more. The runner will get stopped out. Comes back up and um, comes back up, makes a two-legged pullback. Would I take this two-legged pullback, this Pikachu trade? Hmm. I think that'd be a little difficult for me to take. Yeah, I, I don't know. I I'm thinking maybe potentially new high after this break of trend, maybe new high to break this one. So I, I don't know if I would have taken this one. That's a little difficult in my opinion. Even though we can clearly see it, but if this is all you saw, you know, would you consider going short here? I, you know, you think after it fails to really push down down here after this two-legged pullback, you're not sure testing it again. You're not really sure what's gonna happen. Ends up giving you a, a nice scalp, but very difficult in my opinion to have taken that live. This higher low setup, Pretty good setup. Enough room to the top of the trading range. It's a higher low setup. Not bad. I wouldn't take this one just because you don't know if we're gonna keep going upwards here. You would need more evidence. Um, you're thinking maybe one more push up, just not sure. Ends up giving you a scalp, but that's hard to, hard to take live in my opinion. This is also a higher low setup, but not a second entry, so I'll skip that. Pretty good signal bar though. This trap trade is not bad to take as well. This trap trade after the reversal, plenty of room back to the top of the trading range, and you have a nice trap here 
Uh, basically, if you just follow the major trend rule, trend line rules, you have this. Break a trend, new low by one tick, reversal pattern, trap trade to the top of the trading range. So you actually have a pretty, you have pretty, you have a couple good scalps here if you're really looking at the charts for a very long time. I mean, this is towards like the end of the day, <clears throat> but not a bad trap to take. In my opinion, these are all a little difficult to take. Potentially could take this trap as well, uh, but in my opinion, a little hard because they're above the 20 MA. But that's a little difficult in my opinion. But this is a failed trap here, so uh, decent trade, but in my opinion, a little difficult to take live as well. Yeah, I mean, that's what you're looking at, and you're, you don't know. You're thinking maybe another push up, a break of trend, maybe one more push up before taking that, but a little difficult to say. You know, if you were gonna take this trap, if you're gonna take this trap, then you might as well have taken this trap as well, and you can see that taking this trap would have been death. You would have uh, got you got stuck down. So that's why I would have skipped this one. But this, I mean, even though this one's under the 20 MA still, like it, it this. Yeah, it's a little difficult. Very choppy. I would have skipped this one and skipped that one probably. Plus, that's like. One minute before market close. Yeah. You just you just sit on your hands right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits in a row. Maybe here is a good reason to go actually go long. We got nine. You got a ledge here. Alright, that's it for the daily chart review of yesterday. Had a couple of good trades, I thought. I took I capitalized on a couple of them. Um but you know I can't I can only look at the charts for so long. We do have a trap trade here after a strong push down. This trap trade is tempting in my opinion, but I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it. Just because I'm looking at the 10K chart, the 10K chart, we're right on the 20 MA. I'm thinking we're gonna try to make a push up. Typically the 10K chart, you know, the 20 MA acts as some sort of support. And in my trap here, if it traps on the 10K chart, I'd be very interested. But on the 2K chart, I'm not sure. Strong push down, a little far from the 20 MA. But that is a trap trade. Let me say good morning to a couple more pandas here. Good morning, good morning. Heavy eyes, good morning from New Zealand. Welcome to the stream. Calvary Trader, scalp that morning button from Florida. Fart Machine 25, change my display name, much better. <laughs> From Adam Thao to the Fart Machine, okay. I guess you're like five years old, but hey, you gotta start early, you gotta start early. The earlier you start, the better. M Bonnet. <laughs> Jack Hutkins, good morning, I'm new here. Welcome to the stream. Jack Hutkins asks, this is the five minute chart, this is the 2000 tick chart. I do switch between this and the five minute chart though. SW Blaze, good morning from Florida. German Castillo, morning from Washington. Good morning, good morning. All the way from the West Coast. Eric Druin. Thank you for staying a member for four months. I do appreciate the support. By the way, pandas, if you guys want to become uh, an actual panda, then you can hit that join button in uh, right below the video. You'll see a join button on the bottom right. Good morning, good morning. And bonnet. Good morning, guys, good morning. I just finished my daily chart review. You guys can rewind if you guys want to see that. But we're going to go into the pre-market now. Let's see what's happening at the current context. Just watching, just looking at this. Just trying to figure out what's happening here. We had a very strong push up. 
amazing we didn't make a new high and since we missed this new high, I think we're gonna reverse here. I'm thinking a bear trend day today, pandas. I'm thinking bear trend day today. Hey, make sure you guys, if you guys just joining, make sure you guys uh, fill out that poll. Let me know what kind of day you think today's gonna be. And also, make sure you drop some good mornings in the chat, some GMs, show some love, give me a location. You don't have to give me your address. Just just tell me your country, you know? Just tell me, you know, what planet. <laughs> That's all I care about. <clears throat> you don't have to tell me exactly where you live. But I think it's good if the community knows just how worldwide we are. How connected we are. <clears throat> it's an amazing feeling of connection to community when we know that. Good morning, good morning. Hey guys, also if you look in the description, there is a um, a link to a free floating tick counter and uh, that's a free gift for you guys. If you use Ninja Trader, it just puts the tick counter right next to the clothes and you can change the font size and also the color. You can make it whatever color you want. And so that's available to you guys. Yochi Folly lives on Sesame Street at 12345 ABC Street. Let's go, baby. Johan from the Netherlands. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, good morning. Is it is it the morning time in the Netherlands? I don't even know. Mo says he's from Earth, Maryland. East Coaster. Welcome to the stream. As you guys are rolling in, I'm going to do some pre-market analysis here. We had this trend, this channel, and when it finally broke, gave us a nice move here. Almost hit that measure move, almost, but didn't quite get it. The breakout's right here, actually. This trap actually ends up giving you a point anyways. Let's clear up the charts a little bit. Let's start, let's start fresh. A little messy. We're gonna focus here. A couple channels here. Break out to the upside. Probably break out to the downside. It's amazing right now, this push down. It makes me think we are on a downtrend day today. Break a trend, new high. Doesn't reverse, actually. So you're thinking, if it doesn't reverse, break a trend. Doesn't make the new high, but reverses with a double top instead. You know, it doesn't always make the new high. And so, uh, if it does make a new high, it just increases the chances of the trap afterwards to work. But, doesn't necessarily always have to make a new high, but if it does make a new high, it does help. Oftentimes it makes a double top like this. It makes a major trend reversal on either a double top or a lower double top, right? This is a lower high double top just by two ticks. Pretty strong push down here. That was a trap trade I was considering. I was really considering that, but I just didn't like it how we were right on the 20 EMA on the 10K chart. The 10K chart, sometimes we bounce off that. And so I thought it would create some sort of resistance or support, but it did not. So now we're down and we're waiting for a break of trend or just a simple two-legged pullback now. It would be nice if we can get a two-legged pullback to go down, but it doesn't seem like we're going to get that right now. We have a trend down right now. Break of this trading range. Pretty much made a measure move of this trading range down here. If we do break this trend, we're looking for a new low. <clears throat> Cannot go high here, cannot take this long. Welcome pandas, welcome, welcome to the stream. Johan says this afternoon. Peter Schell says took it for a scalp on this trap. Congrats. Congrats, congrats. Let's show some love. That's for you, Peter. And Bonnie says, I want a two-legged pullback short here. If we were to draw it out, if we were to anticipate this trade, it'll look something like this. <clears throat> two-legged pullback to the 20 EMA.
Hmm. Welcome to the stream. I'm just watching here, just seeing what's happening. Make sure you guys fill up that poll. Also, if you're just joining, make sure you scalp that like button. A quick scalp on that like button helps the stream out a lot. All right, gonna end the poll here. I'm gonna tell you what kind of day I think it's gonna be today. Everybody knows I'm eyeing this two-legged pullback right here. Everybody knows I'm eyeing this two-legged pullback. This is the daily chart. I'm eyeing this two-legged pullback. There was a measure move of this bar, doubling that bar, but we're missing it so far, and we are potentially finding ourselves in a two-legged pullback. I do believe we do have maybe a high-impact event on Friday uh, with, like, jobs numbers or something, but, you know, this might not happen until Friday, this trigger, and if it does happen, especially with this two-legged pullback on a daily, man, I'm... I'm most likely going to ride that down for like 10 points. I'm eyeing that right now. So today, I, from the price action right now, what I see, seeing how we are just... Nothing's really capturing that trading range. At least on my charts. But... It looks like a big trading range right now. Coming back into it. Here's the top of the trading range, below it. If I were to extend this line here from the top of this, just pretty much yesterday's close. We'll just use that bouncing off of it currently. Looking for some sort of two legged pullback here. Hey guys, as you guys are rolling in, I'm Bye Bye Money. <laughs> Welcome to my stream. I'm glad that you can join us. On this channel, we trade the most biggest, baddest, most liquidable market in the world, the E-mini futures. Also on the stream, we trade only one single setup to keep things simple as possible, the two-legged pullback. The setup that looks like this. First pullback, first entry, second pullback. First pullback, first entry, second pullback, and we like to enter into the second entry. The market loves to move in twos, and so when the right context, when we see this pattern, once the market makes its two moves, it typically is finished with that move and reverses. And so with this setup, it's greater than 90% probability to make one point on the E-mini in the right context. We look for this in key areas such as moving averages, support resistance levels, trend lines, channels. If you like more information about the setup, Check out the description below. There are playlists going over the details of the setup. Also on this stream, we trade pure price action. That means I read bar by bar. So a lot of times you're gonna just hear me talking about every single bar, how it looks like, the shape of it, also the context of the previous bars. I'm gonna to try to be reading pure price action because I believe that all the information you need is given to us in the bars. So everything on the chart helps us with price action. We have the 20 MA, we have the 240 SMA, and then we have a indicator that automatically counts all legs for us and identifies second entries. Identify second entries with dark red and dark green numbers. So this dark green number here, is because there's a two-legged pullback, A, B, C. First pullback, first entry, second pullback, second entry, good signal bar. That is a second, that's what, this is a dark green number. If you look to the right of the chart, the super signal gives us on the next reversal, this diamond is always placed where we put our stop entry. And if the market reverses and hits this diamond, that means it's gonna trigger the second entry. How do I know the second entry? Because the super signal is dark green. The super signal tells us the upcoming leg number, upcoming leg type with the color, also gives us a tick count, also tells us where to place our stop order. So that's why it's called a super signal. It tells us all that information, all in this little space right here, gives us all the information that we need. So we're in the right context, we like to get into these second entries. All we have to do is look to the right of the chart and see with a dark green or dark red number, if it's a second entry or not. Also it gives us traps with the magenta boxes. 
If you'd like more information about the indicator, you can check out the official website at www.twolegedpullback.com. The link is in the description below as well. Also, a free gift for you guys. There is a free floating tick counter. Uh, there's also a link for that in the description below. Please check it out. I believe that every second counts, and so you do not want to be looking anywhere else other than the charts. So the floating tick counter keeps the tick count right next to uh, the, the price action. Four seconds to market open. Let's go, baby. That's it for the introduction. We got a H4 setup. Skipping that H4, though. I don't like the H4. Still looking for some break of trend now. We're finding a nice balance on top of this. Nice support on top of the trading range at the moment. As you can see, previous trading range acting as support right now. Multiple bounces. If this is a failed breakdown, I might enter long here. The good signal bar. Nope, doji bar. Skipping it. I'm thinking bear trend, but potentially trading range day as well. Yeah, looking at the five minute right now, looks like a bear trend day today. But if we have a fail breakdown here again, which is what it looks like, no, not yet. It's actually closed below. It closed below the line. Not interested in this. You can easily make a point though on the H4 setup right on support. Not a bad trade actually. I wouldn't beat you up for taking that, but I'm skipping it. We're going to try to find the best setups possible, Pandas. We want those greater than 90% probability trades. And Bonnet says, can you explain L4, H4? If you look in the description, there's a frequently asked questions link. I'll go over the details of the H4, L4 setup. Basically, it's just two two-legged pullbacks in a row. A, B, C, that's one pullback. A, B, C, it's just two pullbacks, two two-legged pullbacks in a row, and this is why it's a high probability trade in the right setup, in the right context. Perfect scalp, made on the H4 setup, off support here. It's just a perfect scalp though. Perfect scalps are not a good thing if you're in that trade. It's because it's a potential trap. I know it sounds like a good thing, but perfect scalp means it went exactly five ticks, just giving just enough room to people scalp out, but sometimes people will still be stuck in this trade because uh, since you get filled in a queue, whoever's first in the queue gets filled first, and so most likely there are people trapped in this trade, so this is actually a trap right now. So this is why we. This is why uh, the indicator marks these um, these traps here. I'm going to take this. If this fails, I'm going to take this actually. Actually, this is looking like a two-legged pullback now. Oh, that's a good trade. Oh, that's a pretty good trade. Hmm, two-legged pullback though. I'm gonna sit on my hands here. With a two-legged pullback here. Right on support though, I don't like that. A little tricky in my opinion, because we're on support, creating a two-legged pullback. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. A little tricky for me. After the H4 setup, the L4 setup, yeah, I'm skipping that. Actually does give you a nice scalp there. Perfect scalp on the failed, on the uh, L or H5 setup. When I say H5, that means it's five pushes down and the reversal. So this is the H5 setup. This entry here is actually the H5 bar. This is a two-legged pullback off the 20 MA. But I typically don't like to take the two-legged pullback off the 20 MA after a H4 setup. The H4s typically act as strong reversals and sometimes there's a trap that might set up here. Plus terrible signal bar at the moment. This is the signal bar. Signal bar is decent, but still not good. Under 20 MA, so feeling pretty safe if you're going short here. But I'm skipping this trade. In fact, I'll take the trap on the 10K chart. 
That'll be the only trade I'm looking to go short in. I'm gonna skip this one though, because after the H4, I don't like that. But there's a trap setting up on the 10K chart. As you can see here, I'll be interested in taking this trap because we have break of trend, break of trend, new high, and then reversal on the 20 EMA here. On the 10K chart, potentially looking for a short trade, but still about 4,000 more ticks on that, that channel, on that, uh, yeah, Peter Cho says, my real job starts at 10, I feel you. It's your real job in terms of uh, your uh, where you put your time, but when it comes to your passion, we know we know where your real job is. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Ralph. We've got about two thousand more ticks. This support, basically the top of this right here, resistance acting as support right now. It's exactly what's happening here. I'm gonna take this trap trade on the 10K chart. Ooh, already made its move. Looks like it already made its move. k chart showing a nice trap here but it looks like it might have already made its move i didn't like that little burst and then bounce i did not like that now this has become higher risk trade about one two three four four plus points i'm gonna take this trap trade on the 10k chart because of the pattern that we have right now Strong push down. It's looking like a spiking channel at the moment. Not feeling good about this trap on the 10K now. Not feeling super confident in it. But just imagine if you went long here, how would you feel if you saw this candle printing like this and you see a trap potentially created here? How would you feel if you're long right here? You're thinking for sure I'm gonna get stopped out for sure, this is gonna start, you know, killing me. That's what I, you know, if I was in this long trade right now, that's how I would feel. Look at the 10K chart right now. K chart trap is not triggered yet. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hey, make sure you guys scalp that like button if you're just joining. Setting up for this trap here on a 10K chart. It's a little looking a little shaky on the 2K though. The 2K, it looks like it's finding a bounce here, and might find some support here in reverse. Break a trend, making a new low, trying to make a new low here. Let's take a look at the five minute. Five minute, not one single bar breaking its previous high. One, two, three, making a type of wedge here on the five minute chart. 
10k about to trigger its trap. Tanner Neal, thanks for staying a member. Four months. Appreciate it. If you guys want to become pandas, make sure you hit that join button. Let's see if this trap triggers here. It's getting a little choppy though on the 10K chart. Three overlapping bars. This could give me a, wow, that's very small range for 10,000 ticks. Very small range. I just realized I'm in five, I'm in five contracts here. I have the wrong order. I have the wrong order set up. It's okay though, pandas. Trap does trigger here. 10K chart. 10K chart, 10K traps are just very liable in them themselves. And so this in itself without any context is pretty reliable trade, but looking also at the context, not a bad place, not a bad place. One, two, three, four, more than four point. Oh, I might have to take a little bit more than a point here on this trap if I were to take it. I hate doing that. I might have to go for two points here. Just watching this trade. Just watching, just watching. Makes a perfect scalp. I'm gonna try to put my stop loss here after one point because I don't want it to reverse on me because it misses two points. All right, I'm scalping one point here. All right, 250. Let's go, baby. Easy peasy, easy money. Could have got my two points though, pandas. Had a uh, had paper pause, paper pause. But let's go, baby. The, I I wanted to take two points because of the risk. Um, it was more than four point risk. So in my mind, you got to take two points for those. But so many times on stream, <laughs> I missed that scalp because I wanted those two those two points, and the, the one point is made. But uh, that was a two-pointer for sure. Actually, you know, it just hits two points perfectly. So I, I still might not be filled. But got that one point. Let's go, baby. Baby. Hey, Bill Hamilton doesn't like the baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I explained it during the setup, but break of trend, new high, trap trade below the 20 MA. That's basically the, the trade here. Looking for MTR, big bear bar, looking for follow through. And see, this is why I was scared to take the two points because the moment it touched the two points, it reverses like this, and then now you're sweating. Now you're sweating with a big bull bar like that. You're sweating. Here we do have a major trend reversal happening. Break a trend. Could look for a trap trade to alongside off the 240 SMA as well. Above the 20 EMA. If we have all of those components, we'll look for a trap trade here. We'll look for something like this.
Pretty strong bull bar. Let's see if there's follow through on this bull bar. We're below now this resistance. So this was a support. Acting as support and it bounced off a couple times but finally breaks below it. It might be a failed breakdown though. But we shall see. I mean, typically it breaks down, we're coming back to the bottom of the trading range. That's what we're thinking. If we come to the bottom of the trading range, if we come to yesterday's low, I'm ready. I am really ready for that. Actually, it felt pretty nice to scalp out um, five, five, um, five contracts at one point. If I, it feels like it reminds me of uh, when I used to do the $500 a day journey. Uh, not really journey, but $500 a day series. And basically just takes two scalps. I make 500 a day and then I'm done. I don't have to look for runners. I don't have to manage runners. I don't have to do anything like that. Stream is, uh, every stream on YouTube is delayed by 20 seconds. If it's way more than 20 seconds to you, I recommend make sure that live button is red. Make sure you hit that live button. It should be like within the video somewhere. And also, um, if you're still finding delay, Watching 2x speed until it catches up, and then it will uh, go back to 1x speed once it finally catches up because you can't 2x speed in real time. Otherwise, you'll be going to the future and you'll be breaking dimensions. You don't want that. No time traveling here. But if you can, let me know so you can let me know what happens on every, every trade before I answer them. Hey, let's go, baby. Hey, if you guys are just joining the stream, make sure you hit that like button. I kind of like the five, five contracts, Pandas. And guess what, Pandas? Like, on my account, I'm actually at a level where I can do five contracts. I kind of liked it. It felt really good. It felt really clean. No stress. I just hit it. Don't have to worry about the runner. Like, the runner actually kind of gives me a little stress sometimes. This actually does trigger here. This too, like a pullback, but... I'm not sure this is gonna be follow through. Looks like another trap setting up here on the 10K chart. Strong bull bar ending near tie. One more tick makes a perfect scalp. This is a 10K chart. Let me go to the 2K chart. Oh, we're above the 20 May now on the 2K chart. A strong bull, a strong bear trend right now. The setup now is going to look something like this. It's going to come way up here now. And it could basically be a Pikachu tra trade off the 20 MA. If it Pikachu's off the 20 MA, I'd be interested in going long. Let's look at the five minute chart. Five minute makes a scalp on the two legged pullback here. A, B, C. Signal bar is a little wonky, but it does make a scalp for you. And if you're thinking this is a downtrend, what you're now looking for is a two-leg pullback to the 20 MA on the five-minute chart. So this is why I like to have the other time frames because it gives us more opportunities. It gives us a different picture as well. Because oftentimes, you know, I like to say, I like to have the five-minute chart and the 2,000 tick chart because a five-minute chart tracks price and time. It right, tells you, it, show, it shows you the behavior between the price and time. Where the 2000 tick chart shows you the behavior between price and volume. And so having both of these charts together uh, helps, especially if they, uh, if there's confluence between the two charts, then you're kind of like, mm. both time and volume are matching and it can increase the probabilities of your trades. Let's just say you have a two-legged pullback both on the 2000 tick and also the um, the five minute chart at the same time. Russell H says trade 20 contracts like Mike or Mac and be done after one trade. Man, Mac trades 20, but he trades 20 contracts with the runner. So I believe 15 is scalped, five is. He uses five as a runner. I would need to do that. I would need a hundred, probably a hundred thousand dollar account to do that. Maybe I'll do that for um if I had like a prop trading firm or something. Then I might consider that if I trade other people's money, <laughs> then maybe I'll do that. 
But until my account grows to 100k, which will be like at this rate. Maybe um, next year, I might get to 100k. That's what I'm thinking on this account. Maybe early next year, first half of next year, I might be able to get this to 100k. But even then, I don't know if I'll feel comfortable. Like I even lower my contract sizes in general just because of live streams. Like it makes you do things that typically you wouldn't do. And so that's why I that's why I want to get that one point, Pandas, because look at the 10k chart. It hits exactly two points and reverses right on two points, and now it actually would have uh, broken you. It would have actually stopped you out right here. Quite a reversal now. The five minutes still has a 20 EMA potentially acting as resistance, and it's coming towards it. 20 EMA now on the 10k chart. The 2k chart's above the 20 EMA, so it kind of shows you some of the level how strong this uh pushes if you're just joining guys make sure you drop some good mornings in the chat give me a good morning good evening give me a location whoa what's this guy doing here looking for something like this if possible but on the higher time frames remember we're under the 20 ma Mac, uh, price action trading system, Yochi Folly. If you don't know who Mac is, I recommend looking him up on Google. Price action trading system. And even on YouTube, he'll go over daily reviews of the two legged pullback. Ham and Al Brooks are basically my two mentors where I learn the most from. Uh, I would say Mac is like high school, Al Brooks is like doctorate. <laughs> so, but Mac is a good way to, to, to begin because it's a little easier, easier to digest. Pushing down now. Tricky, tricky market. It would push down now. Maybe I'll go to the five contracts. I kind of like that. That felt really nice. The five contracts. That felt really good. We could potentially have our setup here, reversal setup, but I don't know if I'll take even the reversal at this point. It's getting to a trading range. And typically in trading ranges, when you have a downtrend, it will, well, whatever trading range it is, typically continues the original trend before the trading range appears. So most likely, fail breakdown, fail breakout, and then probably actual true breakdown. That's what I'm thinking. Just look up Mac price action trading system. M Bonnet uh, answers that for you. The five minute is about to hit the 20 EMA. It's about a point away from the 20 EMA. Just keep that in mind, pandas. So if this setup does happen, this reversal setup, then just be wary of the fact that the five minute 20 EMA is only one point above this level. Make sure you guys scalp that like button. But I do actually, for a holiday, the week before the holiday, this price action is pretty good. Like it's, 
Like, this kind of reminds me of price action before the summer. It's very nice. I actually like it a lot. This two legged pullback. One more push down. This is a, a nice place for reversal on the 2K chart. Decent place for reversal. Looking for a trap trade here, pandas. It looks like it's setting itself up for a trap here. Maybe to the bottom of this bar here. Very nice signal bar if you're going short. But if you look to the left of the chart, you have this as support right here. Also bottom of the trading range. Potential trap trade here. This has all the ingredients for a major trend reversal pandas, but it's looking a little sketchy to me, to be honest. Looking a little sketchy. If it hits the zeros, it's a perfect scalp. Hits the 75s, absolute scalp. It's looking a little sketchy to me, even though this is hitting all of the ingredients for a major trend reversal. It's a little sketchy in my opinion. A little sketchy. I don't like it. I don't like this trade actually. I actually want to take the short trade if this trap fails. I actually want to go short here just because it looks really sketchy to me. I, I, I think it just looks too choppy, right? This bar's too, this, this, okay, it doesn't matter anyways. So the, the setup is gone. We don't have, that two legged pullback ends up giving a scalp anyways. And so it might just continue downwards. But yeah, that's why I was scared because it just looked too choppy, right? Big bear bar, big bull bar, big bear bar. And I just did not like how it looked like setting up to the trap. And good thing it didn't trap because I think a lot of traders would have been stuck, would have got caught there. Getting another push down. This is what I thought was going to happen. All right, how tricky is that, Pandas? If I had my two point stop loss or my two point target, it comes back reverses. It will stop me out by two ticks and then that finally comes back down. That's how tricky the market is, the 10K chart. My stop loss originally was right here, one tick above this signal bar. And that's how tricky the, that's how tricky the market is. It wants to stop you out before actually giving you your two point scalp on that 10k chart tricky 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 i saw that I've, that happened to me too many times but that is a two legged pullback but it's a little 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 weird but if we hit yesterday's low pandas if we hit yesterday's lows, pandas. I'm ready. I'm ready to go short. I'm going to look for a short setup to go low here. Tricky, tricky trade. Just watching, just watching. Watching here, pandas. No setups at the moment. Yeah, off the 240 SMA as well. 
a little tricky, but a hey, good thing it didn't actually trigger because if it triggered, then boy oh boy, it would be hurting. I'm not looking really to go short though. I mean, it feels like a pretty strong downtrend. Look at the five minute chart. I cannot even break, could not even make it the two leg and pull back back to the 20 May. It couldn't even touch the 20 May actually. But notice this pandas, the market will always hit the 20 EMA on the 5 minute, sooner or later. I have yet to ever see a day where the 20 EMA is not hit during regular trading hours. I have yet to see a day like that. So sooner or later this will hit the 20 EMA, but it could be because, you know, it goes in the trading range and the 20 EMA will come catch up to it. I'm not saying it hasn't hit the 20 EMA like, you know, where it's at right now. You know, it could be way down here later and, you know, it can consolidate, but just Sooner or later, we'll most likely hit the 20 MA on the five minute chart. <sighs> Keeping your eyes on the 2K chart here. Seeing some pretty good price action, but no entries right now. Big bear bar, big bear swing, matched with a pretty big bull swing here. Under the 20 MA still. This could be the high of the day here. Big bear swing match with a big bull swing. Making me feel like this is trading range price action developing here. Right? On the tank on the the 2k it just looks like it looks like this. But on the 10k it's just two bars. Just two bars. That's all it is. Trading range bars here. But on the 2k chart they look like a nice they look like nice swings here. Looks like trading range or quite or might be possible reversal here. The reason being is because a five minute printing a big bear candle, no follow through, right? Break a trend, new low, maybe making the new high or maybe making a reversal here. Above the 20 May now on the 2K chart. Strong bull, bull swing here. Complete reversal of this bar on the five minute. Absolutely incredible. Complete reversal. If you're thinking, I might want to go on this higher low setup here. Ooh, actually, trading range. Strong bear, strong bull. Oh, I kind of want to go high. I kind of want to go long here. I kind of want to go long here. I would like the trap trade better. I kind of like this higher low setup here. The five minute bouncing off the top of the previous bars high, creating a trading range. I'm gonna sit on my hands though. I'm gonna sit on my hands here. It looks like we're in a trading range. I will have to draw it manually though. It looks like we're in a trading range that looks like this. So if I were to go long here, I'll be going into the top of the trading range, which is a big no-no. If this is a trading range, then 
you know, we're actually looking to go short now. Bounce, two-legged move up. We want to find the lower high setup. If we can find this training range now, that'd be great. If we can identify this training range early. So we can actually make some trades off of it. Five minute creates an inside bar. This is an inside bar of the previous bar. So thinking more likely trading range inside this bar. 10K chart, mm, not much here in my opinion. Other than potential to like a pullback to the upside, ABC. ABC pattern, potentially something like this, but notice we're still below the 20 MA on the 10K chart. Trying to break above it multiple times, failing to do so. 20 EMA not even touched yet on the, the five minute. That's why I didn't go long here. Be sweating right now on the 2K chart. Not interested in going short here though. You want to fail breakout. Not a touch, you want to fail breakout to the upside for trading range trade. This touch could bring us back up to here. This is not really a failed breakout in my opinion, just a test at the top. I want a failed breakout. I want a wick above this. Does trigger the trap to the downside here. We have a two legged pullback now to the upside, A, B, C. A, B, C pattern, very small to leg a pullback. I'd actually be looking to go short here if we were to take it. I want to fail second entry long if possible to go short. Come back to the bottom of the trading range. And as if you're just joining, welcome to the stream. I'm Bye Bye Money. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you scalp that like button. Give me a good morning, good evening in the chat. I'm looking for a fail second entry long here. And I'm gonna be going short, right from the top of this trading range to the bottom of the trading range. I'm looking to go short here, pandas. Looking to go short here. On this stream, we trade only one single instrument, the biggest, baddest, most liquidable market in the world, E-mini futures. On this stream, we trade only one single setup, the two-legged pullback. Setting up here to go short on this fail second entry long. Trying to time this perfectly here. Right here. Second entry long, fail second entry long here. It's very hard to see, but that's exactly what it is, a fail second entry long. Pops up, fails again. Looking to maybe possibly come back to the bottom of the trading range here. I'll mark it like this, fail breakdown. Most likely this will continue to go downwards, in my opinion. On the chart, all these numbers above and below the candles is a 
indicator that automatically counts all legs for us. Identify second entries. Here we have a trap trade here with magenta box. And this is, I'm trying to enter this trap to go from the top of the trading range to the bottom of the trading range. It looks like it wants to make the point going upwards. You're feeling pretty confident now if you went long after seeing that. Still looking for this trap to go short. Failing to break below the 20 MA multiple times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times can't break below the 20 MA. Getting very choppy in my opinion. Very choppy. Little too choppy for me. I'm gonna skip this trade. Way too many overlapping bars for me. Ends up actually doesn't make a point yet. But yeah, if you want more information about the indicator, two-legged like pullback indic indicator, make sure you check out the official website, www.twoleggedpullback.com. The link is also in the description below. Also, there's a free floating tick counter for those uh, who are interested on Ninja Trader. This trap might trigger now, but a little too choppy for me, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, over eight overlapping bars. The trap does trigger. I was waiting for that trade, but I don't know if it's going to hit because of this choppiness and it still hasn't scalped out I almost don't want it to scalp out because I was waiting for that trade for so long I almost don't want it to scalp out oh my pandas pandas I was in the I was <laughs> it hurts it hurts I was waiting for that but too choppy for me I had my reasons not to enter Pandas, that's price action trading. Oh man, that failed second entry long. That's what I was looking for, that trap, this trap trade. Coming back to the bottom of the uh, trading range. Actually, it was good for two points too. Pandas! I have paper paws today, truly paper paws. It's okay, Pandas. Hey, it works this time, but maybe next time it won't work. I'm okay with that. I don't have any FOMO. I, I, I don't mind missing those trades. I don't mind missing free money that the market's giving me. I don't mind the market giving me f missing this free money. Ah! It's not good, pandas. Let's go, baby. We'll find the next one. I just thought it was too choppy, and I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I was fairly certain if it did trap there, it would give us a nice scalp, and that's what it did. Good morning, good morning, good morning, pandas. Yeah, make sure you guys um, get that free floating tick counter. It's for free. And uh, also make sure you guys uh, check out the free trial on the uh, two-legged pullback indicator. Only up 250 today. Currently, I could have been up even more than that, but it's okay, pandas. It's all good. I had my reason not to enter that trade because I'm a panda made out of paper. And that's the reason why. I mean, truly, it, it was too choppy, but I like the setup. I like it coming up and making a trap trade after testing the top of the trading range, making a fail second entry long, and coming back reversing. And you can tell a lot of people took that trade. The The fact that it zoomed downwards means that it was a proper, proper trap. Traps should look like that. If they don't look like that, uh, then... Uh, you know, oftentimes you might be in the wrong trap. But typically traps should trigger quickly like that. Like this trap here did not trigger quickly because it wasn't true. 
This trap also didn't trigger quickly because it was not true, but this is a true trap here. It's all good, pandas. We'll get the next one. We'll get the next one. Re at least we're reading the price action pretty well. Right? At least I didn't enter long here, which I think some people might have gone. Well, A, B, C. A, B, C. I mean, some people go long there and ends up trapping them. Greg Martin swears he didn't see me going short. He swears he's not copying my trades. I mean, he obviously didn't copy my trade because I didn't actually enter that trade. So kudos to you, to you guys. There isn't a, uh, a, a hidden H4 currently on the 10K chart. Sorry, on the five minute chart. There's a hidden H4. And the reason why I say hidden is because it actually pops up, pops below creating the H4 already with this one single bar. So it's an outside bar reversal, um, but H4 is triggered on the five minute chart. Actually, right now, the hidden H4. Little too congested here. Hard to make a trade in here, in my opinion. Gonna sit on my pause and wait for this trading range to finish. Notice pandas below the 20 MA on the 10K chart, below the 20 MA on the five minute chart still. And so we see this consolidation, but most likely we will continue this downtrend that we originally had. Downtrend, consolidation, downtrend, most likely, in my opinion. Mike Carroll says, does a 240 SMA, let me go over some of the chats here as we wait for this congestion to clear up. Richard Belmont said he was waiting for the trap as well up here. Peter Cho has to go. See you later. Hopefully you guys, you can join us next time. Xiao Zhuan says new downtrend channel created. Kellyanne says, thanks, waiting for the short trap over here. Jack Bjorn was a seven points, 20 contracts, goodness. $7,000. Gilbert Liu asks, how long does it take you to master this, LOL? It, look, you look so pro. I've been doing this for maybe about a year and a half now. Year and a half, and this is where I'm at. Joe Fitz says, Ninja Trader worth it? Uh, I think it's up there. I think it's probably, I mean, for me, uh, no question because of the trading range in, or because of the two-legged pullback indicators on there. Uh, but honestly, it's it's up to you. I mean, the commissions are, are good. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's worth. About to hit that trap. On the five minute, the five minute is everything's looking looking like a downtrend. Just going over some of your chats. See if you guys have any questions. AJ Santamir says, what's up, pandas? We stuck? We are. We got nothing going on right now. We got, we're just creating so many inside bars. When we look at the five minute, this big bar is acting as a range for one, two, three, four inside bars. And so we're just inside. So what this means is actually this is making a triangle. And this triangle is gonna, it's going to be consolidation and break out one way or the other. In my opinion, since we have a downtrend, the triangle will break to the downside, more likely than break to the upside. On the smaller time frame, you can see a diamond formation, but basically a diamond is just a triangle as well. 
but it's a diamond on the other side, but basically it's just a the same thing. It's a triangle on the right side of the diamond. I may go short here if we get a trap to the short side. Or it feels like an entry long. If we get a trap here, I may go short here. Now I might look for a swing trade. Swing trade, I might lower my contract sizes to two as well. And I'm gonna try to swing two contracts here, pandas. But we're still trading two-legged pullback. Jay Dunk asks, can you explain what a trap is? Look at the frequently asked questions in the description. There is a link there that describes exactly what traps are. I will take this trap here. Thinking we're gonna break out of the triangle on this trap with two contracts. The reason why I'm taking two contracts is I'm actually going to have a, a decent sized stop loss. And so. It's about time the triangle breaks out, right? We're about 80% of the way of the triangle. This is about the spot where it should break down. I'm gonna try swing uh, four points here. It's a Pikachu trade. Look at this Pikachu trade here. Currently a micro triple top, breaks above. Trap is gone on the 75s. Still a trap here. Attached my order to the super signal. So it will adjust the moment this candle finishes, it'll adjust itself. I'm gonna swing this one. Gonna swing this trade.
One, two, three, four. Four points here. Let's try to get four points here. Four to four. One to one risk ratio. I'm only trading two contracts because I understand that this is a big, a little more risk here. Let's try to swing four points here. I'm thinking break down the triangle. I'm going to keep this here until we make it. Makes a perfect scalp. Reversing. Gonna swing this, pandas. Thinking we're breaking out of this triangle with a trap trade. Continuing the original trend. Just holding on to this swing trade. It's just two contracts. I may be willing to scale in here one time, but we shall see. I guess this to me, the risk is worth it um, because of the potential swing trade here. I mean, it's just a triangle breaking down with a, with a trap. So risking four points with two contracts, that's 400 for 400, one to one risk ratio at the moment. If I lose this, it's all good, pandas. All part of trading. You lose some, you win some. I know it's a little weird, but yeah. Because we're originally downtrend, most likely this triangle will break to the downtrend. You have a slight edge to go short here. But, that being said, who knows what's going to happen. I mean, look at the 5 minute. Like, can you be any more clear in terms of a triangle? I mean, that is a triangle of triangles. Just waiting though. Trading small, only two contracts here. I don't mind losing this. I understand this is more like a swing trade, but still based off the two legged pullback Pikachu trade here. Just waiting, just waiting.
Just watching, just watching. Diamond paws. Those diamond paws when you trade. I should want to make it one tick higher than this. Yeah, we keep it here. It's fine. Still in this trade, pandas. Only thing I care about right now is losing this on stream. <laughs> I don't care if I lose this four hundred dollars, or I can gain it in like two in two scalps. But the fact that I'm losing this on stream just adds that extra pressure. I mean, it's just like people just don't know. You know, already trading live is very very like nerve wracking. But when you couple that with streaming in front of hundreds of people, man, that's that's rough. It's tough. It it just bends your psyche in a way where you probably just I've never experienced it. I actually don't know which way this triangle is going to break out, but it looks like it's going to break to the downside, or at least it should, in my opinion. Welcome to the stream, pandas. If you want to see, uh, welcome to the stream where you can watch a panda lose all his money. Just watching. All right, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of gave me a little small heart attack. Little panda heart attack. That spike up. They'll break out to the upside. Oh. It's actually a trap trade to the downside again. The five minute looks good to go short. Five minute looks really good to go short right now. Maybe I'll just double up my position, just take a scalp to the downside. I might trade the five minute independently just to get the short trade, just to get a scalp on the five minute. Mm. 
bounces right off of it. I may want to enter this short here. It looks pretty good. I mean, anything to the downside right now looks good. Especially after a triangle like this. Another trap trade. Just watching this trade still. I'm going to keep it above this pivot here. That being said, I need to extend my reward as well. The trap on the 5 minutes failing. Very interesting. What's the 10k doing? 10k is still under the 20 MA, clearly. But the 5 minute looks like it wants to pop up. Give us a nice pop up here on the 10k chart. Actually, gives us a nice pop up. The 5 minute, the 20 EMA is still blocking it. Still consolidating. Breaking above now. No worries. Losing this, all good pandas. As long as we have a plan. As long as we have a plan, pandas. Stick to the plan. Don't stray from the plan. The 5 minute just hit the 20 MA. Hit the 20 MA on the 5 minute, making an outside bar. 20 EMA still acting as resistance on the 10K chart. Just watching. Let's see what happens on this trade. I'm still I'm still waiting here. I mean this is what happens when you trade in chop. Pure chop. Chop chop chop. Triangle creating a fail breakdown and now potential fail breakout. Fail break down, fail break out. Right, originally it was like this. Fail break down, fail break out. Maybe fail, hopefully fail break out and then finally actually continuing the original trend. <clears throat> but we shall see. All I know is I have my stop loss up here and I'm okay losing it. I have my target down here, I'm okay getting it. It's a one to one at this point. But like I said, the 5 minute will always touch the 20 MA sometime during regular trading hours. And that's exactly what it did. It touched the 20 MA. It just has to touch the 20 MA sooner or later. Russell H looking to skunk.
uh, uh, probably should scale in here to be honest. Uh, but because I'm on stream, I'm probably not going to scale in to go short. Just because we, I see this consolidation here. That's why streaming is so difficult. Because you become the super... I probably would scale in. If this side does break above, I probably will scale in thinking it'd be a failed breakout coming back in. Increasing, dramatically increasing your probability to at least make a point or break even. That's what kind of happens on these trading range days. That's what's good to be able to scale in. But on the stream, I've, I'm hesitant to scale in on stream just because it's... Honestly, it creates like... It can be very dangerous. And I don't want people to start to scaling in. Um, I might do like a pseudo scale in to show you what happens if we did scale in. But I'm okay losing this. It's fine. But um, yeah, the thing is scaling will... It can quickly blow up your account quickly blow up your account so only scaling if you know what you're doing and be ready to double your losses and you know this is why i you know traded smaller here because i knew you know this could put potentially happen and so i'm okay with this but um yeah to actually increase your chances right especially when you're in trading range like this what you do is not you do not stop loss at the top of trading ranges you actually want to increase your sizes as you go higher but you need a large capital you need to trade small enough so you can do that and um, the reason being because you buy it or you sell at the top of trading ranges and you sell at the bottom of trading ranges um, to stop out yourself at the top of a trading range is a bit counterintuitive to how trading ranges should be traded because you're basically selling um, or you're basically trying to buy at the top which doesn't really make sense, but it's okay. I'll take this hit. So with that being said, I do scale in on my own oftentimes when I trade off stream. And I typically trade pretty small when I scale in. But scaling in is like a completely other beast and it's very difficult, I think. You have to have a lot of practice, a lot of, a lot of trading. Go ahead, it says, is scaling in just canceling the trade and take no? Scaling in is when you actually will see another opportunity to go short and go in double position, and then your break even will go to the midpoint. And, um, you know, especially if you're thinking, if your premises is this trading range, you know, you actually like would essentially raise your stop loss, right? And then scale in until you come break even or make a point or whatever you want to do, whatever your strategy is. So you're almost trading with no stop loss, but for me, if I scale in, I'll still have a stop loss. Like maybe after two scale ins, I'll just say there's too much pain and I'll just take the hit. And if it reverses on me, then it just sucks. But um, it's just too much pain, you know, oftentimes after maybe two or three scale ins, it, it, it gets pretty risky. So I, I've learned my lesson many times scaling in. Hopefully this is a failed breakout and we zoom down and just destroy this triangle to the downside. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, micros is a lot easier to scale in because it's so small. But still, even with micros, you can blow your account. Just scaling it doubles up your trades every single time. It's crazy. Hey pandas, for those who are just welcome, who are just joining the stream, make sure you hit that like button. Make, make sure you scalp that like button. Give me a quick scalp on that like button. Also, make sure you grab that flea, a free floating flea, free floating tick counter for those who are using, who are using Ninja Trader. It's available for you guys. Puts a tick counter right next to the close. Also, check out the free trial. You know, if you want to check out the two legged pullback indicator, try the free trial. If you like it, you can cop it. If you don't like it, no harm done. At least you tried it out. Mm. 
Looks like it wants to break me. Looks like it looks like it wants to stop me out. Really looks like it wants to stop me out. That triangle broke to the wrong side. Shouldn't have broken up to the upside. But so be it. It is what it is. I'm okay with losing this, as I said many times. Typically here, I would scale, I would actually scale in here and look to average down my trades or average up my trades. Two pushes up, try to scale in one time here. Pandas. See now it's like silly because now you're at the top of the train range stopping yourself out when you should be actually trying to sell here. And that's why it's a little bit silly, but it is what it is, pandas. Hey, let's go, baby. Hey, minus 175. We can make that up in one scalp. Hope you guys have an amazing day today. That's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Hey, if you guys enjoy the stream, make sure you swipe. Make sure you scalp that like button. I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow, pandas. Let's go, baby. I'll see you guys later. As always, happy trading. God bless.